like to call the Delaware County Commissioner's meeting to order. It is Monday, July 3rd, 2017. The time is 9.01. Everybody could please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Steve, could you call the roll, please? Mr. Henry. Here. Ms. Reagan. Present. Mr. King. Here. Mr. Brooke. Here. First, we have tabled business of agreement for collections of personal property and taxes. Uh, I spoke with the uh, treasurer, and he'd like to keep that on the table. Okay. So we'll just move on then for approval of minutes for June 19th. So moved. Second. A motion is second. Steve, can you call the roll? Ms. Reagan? Yes. Mr. Henry? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. We have presentations to commissioners, applications for edit funds. Do uh, have anybody here from Urban Light? Yeah. I am Joy Redeker. I'm the executive director at Urban Light CDC. Okay. We submitted an application for the project expansion of our Urban Lighthouse Recovery Program. Uh, it's currently a recovery program that we're able to house six women from Delaware County. Uh, with the expansion, we will be able to house eight women and then also have a family visitation unit, which we have historically not been able to do um, overnight visitation, I should say. Um, so we're actually renovating a home currently in South Central Muncie. Um, the downstairs will operate as the program residence. The upstairs will do family visitation um, as well. It's just a small, small space for Dorgan Autos, who is the Urban Lighthouse Director as well. Um, so we're happy to field any questions about programming. Specifically within the budget, I asked for program um, uh, coverage for the actual construction, but also um, the needs of the current program, um, and then, of course, the expansion with the family visitation. Um, from appliances to bedding, um, multiple uh, needs within the program. You understand we only like placed a hundred thousand dollars in there, so and sure. Then I, I see where your amount your request was close to fifty thousand dollars. Of course, yes. But anything that we would be able to give would. Absolutely, of course. We we just want to be upfront of how much the expansion is is going to cost okay. the program, yeah. um, and. You know, we have many uh, individual private donors who have already, uh, you know, uh, supported the, you know, the construction of the home. Uh, so we just want to be up front. Yeah. I was impressed with the letters you received and how you're working with community corrections. And, yes. And, um, yes, we have a great, Dory Granatis has a great working relationship with uh, DCC, the circuit courts, um, the Delaware County Probation as well. And there sure is such a need for such programming. I would make a motion that we uh, approve ten thousand dollars to go towards their program. I'll second that. Have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Steve, can you call the roll, please? Mr. Henry. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you Thank for you. everything. Hope this helps you get Thank you so much. Start. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Next, we have an application for county edit funds from the Boys and Girls Club of Muncie. I'm James Mitchell. I'm the board president for the Boys and Girls Club of Muncie. Um, and as you know, we have a site right now at 1710 South Madison. Uh, starting this fall, that will become a teen center, 9th through 12th grade, um, dedicated programming from 2.30 or 3 p.m. until 8 p.m. That um, while we move all, the rest of our programming across the city into schools. Uh, much like Joy, we put in a pie-in-the-sky dollar amount, but ultimately what we're looking to do is our program provides comprehensive services across a variety of needs with a focus on academic success, character and citizenship, and healthy lifestyles. And so Boys and Girls Club does have a program called Smart Moves that offers all of the types of things that would be focused on prevention, drug prevention, um, healthy choices as it relates to goal setting, peer pressure, um, and just even media literacy, understanding what's out there. And so some of the curriculum 
um, as I've reviewed it, definitely addresses areas of methamphetamine and heroin and tries to bring to light misunderstandings that, um, that children would have. And so this program was focused to the 13 to 15 year olds, so the early on um, part of that. And part of the issue that we run is the transportation. So currently kids can take mitts to get there, but um, the one example that's listed in the proposal was a student that's out in Yorktown who wants to be able to come. Um, currently, the only boys and girls clubs in the area, um, the closest ones are in Richmond, um, up in Marion, or in Grant County, and in Hamilton County. So we are offering one-of-a-kind programming um, without being anywhere close to um, some of the other clubs that are, that are offering this program. So um, I don't know if there are questions. Ultimately, the van that we've applied for would be to help us get kids from various areas that might want to come in and then help us to safely transport the, the teens that we're working with to site visits, um, to colleges, wherever those programs might be them. So James, you've never had a transportation program before? Uh, we have used MITS and relied on that, and we have um, a very old 12-passenger uh, van, um, and then another small vehicle that we use um, to that we receive from Mutual Bank. <clears throat> Uh, a perfect example would be that this summer we were sharing transportation with AIM, the AIM summer program. And we both booked dates on the same time, so we were scrambling to find personal vehicle and the liability insurance with our insurance company to be able to transport kids to the program that we were running that day. Amen. Well, I think that uh, some of the individuals that I've heard speak about the uh, drug problem we have right now. Um, you know, the funding and everything kind of went away for some of these um, programs to reach out to these younger kids in schools. Um, and I, I think that's where we need to start again to try to uh, break this vicious cycle of drug abuse. Um, I, I, again, I'd be willing to make a motion to uh, give them $10,000 towards their purchase. I'll second. Steve, could you call the roll, please? Ms. Brigham. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, James. Next, we have contracts and agreements for approval. We have the Ford Motor Credit. Uh, finance application for community corrections. Morning, Chair. Good morning. Chair McCormick, Community Corrections Financial Manager. I'm here this morning just to obtain your signature, James. We've already ordered the vehicle. It should be here in about three weeks. Has been approved and appropriated through the Advisory Board and Department of Corrections. It'll be our second vehicle to our fleet of the new ones. Okay. And I'm not sure, Gail, do you guys have the actual contract for their signature, do you have it? Because I have it here, I was just going to leave it and I can pick it up later after, after the meeting. Yeah. It was Shannon's signature last year. Do you have it? That's it. Yeah, what he wants to sign it. The one vehicle you guys purchased already it, uh, uh, yeah. looks very nice, and I'm glad it's uh, it's marked as well. Yeah. So you yeah. Can see who it is. Get a copy too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah, I have to submit it. I'll go get a copy. Thank you. Thank you. I move the approve the Ford Motor Credit financing application. Second. A motion. A second. Steve Colorado, please. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Next, we have a contract for Bell Road South, supplement number three. This is for a um, construction project. <clears throat> Angie sent this. Um, I was trying to find it here. Uh, I looked at it uh, last week. It, it looked appropriate. Um, it had the uh, dollar amounts that they agreed upon, and so I would recommend that this was approved. 
<coughs> I'll make a motion we approve the contract. Second. I have a motion and a second. Steve, can you call the roll? Mr. Henry. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Next, we have the warranty deed for Bridge 141 Tiger Drive over White River. This is a deed um, for the construction of Tiger Drive that uh, Angie has requested uh, to keep that project on task uh, to work on that bridge. It need, would need to be approved by the commissioners. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Have a motion and a second. Steve, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Next, we have ordinance for second reading, ordinance number 2017-014, ordinance amending section 183 of Delaware County Code of Ordinances. This is an ordinance for, um, started out, as I said last time, with uh, some checks that were not honored for uh, some insurance benefits or insurance proceeds, so not proceeds, but to purchase insurance for people off. So we decided that the county needed a bad check policy for bad checks that they get. Didn't we pass one that the, the auditor was in favor of for Steve Ewing? Or I was thinking there was one that one way that we did it. I thought one was passed a few years back when I was the clerk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this an update to one, that? I don't remember doing one recently. I think this one repeals some or changes some. It does. It affects the, it, it's to update the check or, or uh, ordinances for checks. Rick was having an issue with checks coming in for insurance that weren't being honored and there wasn't a mechanism for So it just, the other one wasn't covering them? Right, was not covering that. Okay. I'll make a motion we adopt ordinance 2017-014. Second. I have a motion and a second. Steve, call the roll please. Mr. Henry. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Next we have ordinance 2017-015, ordinance repealing and restating policy concerning health insurance benefits for current and retired employees of Delaware County. This is an ordinance, uh, the commissioners the first year adopted a policy about retirees insurance and made significant changes to that program. Um, this is an ordinance to clean up that and to reflect the policy of the commissioners. The commissioners had adopted in prior administrations certain ordinances and we're cleaning that up so that reflects the current day's um, <coughs> policy. I'll make a motion we adopt ordinance number 2017-015. Second. Motion and second. Steve, can you call the roll? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Next we have ordinances for first reading, ordinance number 2017-016. Ordinance establishing Delaware County Sheriff's JAG grant. Hi, Greg Ellison with the Sheriff's Department. This is the uh, same JAG grant that we do every year. We share it with the city. It's for special overtime. Uh, Mr. Brooke and myself thought that he fixed the ordinance so we wouldn't have to get a new one every year. But then when I went to Gail and Donna, they said no, being that the fund number changes, the grant number changes, and the amount changes. We got to get a new ordinance every year. I move we adopt ordinance 2017-016. Well, this is just for introduction purposes. Oh, okay. Make a motion. Make a motion to introduce. I'll second. Sorry about that. Okay. Have a motion and a second. Steve, can you call the roll? Mr. Henry. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. You need all this. You just need a brand new one today. Um, we, have to if we want to do another one, that's fine, or you can approve it today. Well, we'll have to suspend the rules, or if it can wait another two weeks. It can wait another two weeks. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Thank you very much. I have ordinance number 2017-017A, ordinance amending section 181 of Delaware County Code of Ordinances regarding copy fees. Melanie Marshall, Delaware County Recorder. And it actually has more to do with bulk fees, and this came about because of Senate Enrolled Act 505 that took another look at all of the recorder's fees, and those were all updated 
um, statewide and approved and went into effect July 1st. So this is just to kind of clean up and we are required to have an ordinance for how we provide bulk fees and what our bulk fees, um, how we calculate those. I would recommend that you um, introduce this. There's some uh, things that Melanie wanted to check with the contract on the bulk fees. Uh, and so we just introduce it now. We, there may be amendments for the next meeting. Okay. I'll make a motion to introduce ordinance number 2017-017A. Second. A motion and a second. Steve, can you call the roll? Mr. Henry. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Next we have department heads and elected officials. We'll move on to monthly and weekly reports. Everybody received the reports from weights, weights and measures? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Move to payment of claims in the amount of six million seven hundred seventy-five thousand eight hundred seventy-four dollars and eighty cents. So moved. Second. Have a motion. A second for payment of claims. Steve, can you call the roll? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Have any comments, questions from the audience? I'll put on my different hat. Yeah. Uh, Delaware County Fair board member. Uh, this is your last meeting before the fair starts, so we would love to invite you all out to come and enjoy the fair and the festivities and especially the food. Thank you. Good job. Anybody else? I would like to say the Delville Police Department will be holding their annual fish fry oh, yeah. July 15th. It'll be from 4 to 7 for their Operation Christmas, which helps the kids in uh, the area to uh, have Christmas. So if anybody can come out for that, would appreciate it. Where? It will be at the elementary school, the Delville Elementary School. Anything else? What time is that again? Four to seven. If you need tickets, I've got tickets. <laughs> I'll bring them up to you. Uh, nothing else, so I'll entertain a motion to recess. So moved. Second. A motion and a second to recess. Steve, can you call the roll? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes.